Hi Libra, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you for all your support. Thank you to all the new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, uh, is greatly appreciated to help the channel's growth and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that and helping uh, in the process of the channel. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so Libra, this can be for any type of connection. It can be for, um, has to be a, a real connection. So either... You know, you have a connection with somebody, you think you like each other, or you could be married, you could be separated, it could be about an ex, you could be dating, I mean, it could be anything here, so let's see what we get, hopefully it resonates for you, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so I hope everybody's doing well, happy fall, happy November, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so let's see what we get, could get a sign, element, or a planet, if you don't resonate with what comes out here that's totally fine this is sort of a little extra bonus a lot of information about how to, how to understand the tarot below too so uh read that also so i don't have to give a big long spiel before every video on how to switch the energies and all that kind of stuff so we have capricorn here so some of you could be dealing with a capricorn if not that's totally fine um or they could have it in their chart somewhere or maybe you even have it in your chart so, and the Capricorn does represent in the tarot, in the major arcana, does represent the devil, which is about toxic energy. So, I don't know if that'll play into the reading in any way. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Or you could be, some of you, dealing with a Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they could have it heavily in their chart. If you know their chart, there is a link below to go to Cafe Astrology. You can get your full birth chart if you know your person's birthday you get their full birth chart you don't need the actual time you can just put in midnight i think it's either midnight i think it's midnight and you'll get um their chart okay so let's get an overall love connection energy libra for you and your person whoever you're thinking about at this time let's get a love connection energy for you for november lost love oh Surrender, healing, and release. Hmm. Okay, and we have 35 there, which is 8. And H is, 8 is about um, action, movement, travel, and that sort of energy. So something about lost love here that you may be feeling with the person you're connecting with. Now, this doesn't mean that it's totally gone and done. This just could be your energy thinking that it's lost, it's over, it's done, there's no chance. But you never know. So we'll see what we get here. We'll see what we get. So what I'm going to do now, if you're not familiar with my readings, because this is a love connection reading, I'm going to pull one for, I'm going to say the side is you, the side is the person you're thinking about at this time. If at any time you feel like the energies are reversed, please do that anywhere in this reading. You flip flop the energies, reverse the energies, however you see fit. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. All right, this is a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. So let's get one for you, Libra, for you, how you're feeling about the person you're thinking about and the connection, and then we'll get one for them, how they're feeling about the connection and feeling about you. Clarify everything with tarot, and then extra messages over here on the bottom of the deck. So Libra, you have lost. Wow, so... Grief, sadness, and resurrection. So you're really feeling in two. 20 here is two, and that's usually, you know, about unity, partnerships. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Libra, Libra, what's going on? What's going on, Libra? So the person you're thinking about, let's see. What do they have about you in this connection? Can we have one for Libra's person spirit, please? Thank you so much right here. Moonlight goddess. Repressed emotions, healing, reflection. 
And we have two again about uh, partnership and unity. So, hmm. Let me see this over here. Oh, Moonlight Goddess. I just want to read a little bit to see. Um, number two. Okay. Reflect back to you the repressed emotions you have stored inside you. She is here to heal you through your dreams, but in order for healing to take place, you must pour out your heart and express how you truly feel. Do this for yourself and for others. Remember that. Remember all that you repress not only affects you, it also affects those around you, especially those you love the most. It is safe for is this. It is safe to acknowledge your feelings and it's all right to cry. Just surrender and let it all go. You are surrounded by love and healing energies of the goddess. You are eternally loved and eternally protected. In the coming month, you will reflect on the past. You will give thanks and let go of old hearts and disappointments. Only the loving memories you will keep inside your heart. Then once the chambers of your heart are yet again full of light, a new season begins, a new journey, a new joy, a new passion. So... Maybe this person um, kept their emotions and their feelings from you. They didn't really tell you how you felt, how they felt, or they just never really expressed to you their feelings. Um, but, you know, for the overall, we have lost love and then you have loss. And they have them repressing their emotions. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Apprehension. Moving out into the world. Doubt and fear. So 18, uh, which is 9. And that can speak of um, an independent energy. Huh, so I don't know here. So I don't think that bottom one belongs there. But uh, sometimes I take the one underneath, but I don't feel like it fits here. Um, apprehension. So maybe you're a little apprehensive now going out into the world alone. Um, if you're like newly single now. Maybe you're just very apprehensive. Or maybe this person was very apprehensive about showing you and telling you how they really felt and cared about you. And because of that, you feel like you don't feel like the love between you. So, but this does say resurrection on it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's get some... Let's get some tarot on this. See what's going on in the Libra. I thought it would be a more positive reading, but <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we'll have a positive outcome. So let's clarify loss for Libra. Let's clarify loss for Libra spirit. Why is that here? The Ten of Cups. So yeah, this is total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is, you know, happy, total fulfillment, happiness, and joy, abundance, and love. Happy home and family. Hmm. So let's get one for your person. The Seven of Cauldrons. So now they, they have the Seven of Cups, water energy again. This is options, confusion, Kind of a daydreamy state uh choices very confused energy choices here um i don't know so let's clarify the ten of cups the wheel of fortune so sagittarius energy so this is fate destiny divine timing things going in a better direction Fate and destiny on your side. Things turning for the better. And then <laughs> for your person here, we have the sun. So this is a lot of positive energy here. This is happiness and joy, enlightenment, uh, victory, success, happy home and family, growth and abundance. Everything positive with the sun energy here. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, that's always things going in a better direction. So if there was apprehension on their part of them not coming forward to you to, and truly telling you how they felt about you, they were holding back. So it made you 
feel like this connection was lost. That's what I'm feeling. And I think feel they were very apprehensive about coming forward and how they felt. Maybe you were apprehensive about approaching them uh, because you didn't want to push them further away. Because you see them as your Ten of Cups person. But they're kind of confused. But they have happiness and joy and abundance and everything positive over here with the sun energy. This is Leo energy. Sag energy here. Don't get too confused with the signs. But um, I don't know. It's like you see the best in each other. Like this is my person. But you have this apprehension and fear. And then fear of, you know, maybe this connection is just lost. I feel especially on your side, Libra. Because I feel like they're just confused and apprehensive, but they think the world of you. I mean, they see you as their son. I mean, you could have a child with this person. So let's see what the actual situation is. What is the actual? What's going on here? The Ace of Wands. It's a brand new beginning. Passionate beginning. Fire energy. Wow. So we have the Ace of We've got two aces here. So to, uh, connected to them is the ace of pentacles, the ace of shields here. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and that's their energy. This is a brand new stable beginning for the long term. This is a long term energy here. A new beginning. It's very prosperous, growth, abundant, it's stable, it's secure, it's long term. And you have a vi very fiery, passionate um, energy connecting to you. So you have a lot of fire and passion. And they, now they want stability. Now they want... I think they've looked at all the options. They've been confused. But now they know where their happiness lays and it lies with you. And now they want to offer you this pentacle for the long term. You definitely have a lot of fire and, pa and love because you've got the ten of pentacles here. But you see here in this cup on the end here there's a flower and you see this baby here is holding a flower doesn't necessarily mean um, children but it could be them offering now you something because the flower is now in their hand it's like they're no longer confused they're no longer going to hold back and now they're going to offer you this pentacle for this stable new beginning because connecting the two of you is the Four of Swords. So this is an energy of retreating from one another, um, thinking, contemplating, you know, healing. If there's anything you needed healing from, you, them, here, lost. I mean, if maybe you, them, lost something, just been through something, or just lost a partner or something here, and healing, recovering from that, and now choosing after thinking, contemplating, and spending time alone, with the four of swords energy because you see the sun shining down there at the top the sun is slowly slowly starting to come and shining down here right here onto this to melt all the snow and bring in this fire and this passion because you have the pentacle here with the wheel of fortune and then you have the pentacle here wow so all right so let's clarify Let's clarify this whole situation for you, Libra. You and your person. The Three of Shields, okay. And the King of Cups. Wow. So on your side over here, the Three of Pentacles. So that's the stability again. This is about working together, coming together, teamwork, collaboration, working on it, working on the relationship. And on their side now is the King of Cups. So now they know, and I'm sorry about this card, his schlong's hanging out. <laughs> I don't know why um, this card, this is the Celtic Tarot. I don't know why they depict that. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. So you can ignore that or I could cover it up. I don't know, whatever you want to do here. <laughs> but anyway, the King of Cups here. You know, someone who is very in tune and touch with his emotions. Someone who has a lot of love to give. Sometimes they might hold, and the King of Cups does hold back sometimes how they truly feel, but they may show it. Um, they may show it in the things that they do or, or in things like that. 
they don't necessarily verbally express it too often. And that's why you had this energy over here with them. But now they exactly, they know how much they love you and how much they want to be with you because they thought about it. You both thought about it. You were really thinking, you thought this whole connection was lost and you prayed for the divine energy here to turn this wheel so you could come together, work together on this uh, connection. Maybe you have friends helping you in this connection in some way. I don't know. Oh, here's my cat. I hope he doesn't jump on the table. All right, so let's get advice for you, um, Libra. Advice for Libra. The Knight of Cups, nice. In the Hierophant, wow. So your advice is to move this forward. The Knight of Cauldrons here is the Knight of Cups. This is moving forward in a very loving uh, manner, coming forward, taking that action movement with expressions of love, affection, and that kind of energy. So your advice is to move forward with this person in love and emotions because now you have the Druid, which is the Hierophant, which is about commitment marriage, ceremonies, faith, spirituality. So your advice is to move forward with this person. It could lead to, lead to a higher commitment of some type. Doesn't necessarily mean marriage. It can, but moving it forward in a higher level of some sort of re relationship or commitment. That's Aries energy. For the majors, we have Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Taurus, and then for the court cards, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, twice. So, all right, so let's get more clarity on your situation, on your advice, actually. I got two here. The High Priestess and the Six of Wands. So, yes, yeah, success and victory. By, you know, moving forward with this person with love and emotions and feelings and moving it forward to some sort of higher level of um, the relationship, be very victorious here with the Six of Wands. Victory, success. And the High Priestess here is, you know, tapping into your faith, your spirituality, your intuition, your gut feelings, your higher knowing. Um, this is also an energy, though, of keeping things to yourself. So... Um, the high priestess doesn't share a lot. She knows a lot, but she doesn't share a lot. It's kind of a, kind of a secret of energy. <clears throat> so you may have to, I don't know, keep it to yourself. Like don't post it all over Facebook. Don't put it all over, you know, social media or blurt it out to all your friends and family, you know, to any Joe Schmo down the street. Uh, while you're working on this, moving it forward. Cause I feel like they have a lot of fear and apprehensive energy. So I think if you blast it all over the place, it's going to make, push them back a little bit. So you may want to refrain from doing that. You know, you could tell like a few close friends and family, but I wouldn't blast it all over social media or, or all over work or anything like that. All right. So let's see what the outcome just trust your gut, your intuition, and know that if you move forward with this person in love, that there will be a higher level of commitment and be very successful and victorious. And what is the possible outcome for you, Libra, with this person? The two of wands. So fire energy here, two of wands. So making plans together. Uh, usually the two of wands, you know, sometimes you're at a crossroads, not sure which way to go. But you start making plans, decisions uh, for the future, which direction you're going in. So let's clarify that for your possible outcome. I feel like you'll be making plans, de decisions together for your future. Wow, the Six of Cups. Yeah, soulmate energy here. This is definitely a soulmate with the Six of Cups. You could have had past lives with this person. Water energy again. Uh, maybe you've known them since childhood, went to school with them, or something like that. It's all about memories, nostalgia, childhood, things from the past, soulmate energy, past lives possibly with this person. 
Eight of Cups energy here. So, and it's under the High Priestess. So, I think, you know, like I said, the High Priestess keeps things to herself. She doesn't, like, blurt everything out. And I think if you display this all over the place, I think they may walk away. They may get frightened and they may walk away until they feel really solid and secure in this relationship and you're moving forward together, making those plans and it's, you know, solid, then I think it'll be okay. But in the nurturing growing stages, I would say kind of keep it to yourself because it may scare them and they may, with the eight of cups energy here, they may decide to walk away from this connection. So your outcome is, you know, I see soulmate energy here and making plans, decisions uh, for the future. And that Eight of Cups energy just could be, you know, um, you know, taking that action movement and going towards dreams and goals. So on um, the bottom, we have the Three of Wands. So this is waiting, you know, waiting. So you might have been waiting for this person for a long time. You see the sun energy here. So I think they had to become enlightened with the sun energy. And once the sun hit them, then they realized they weren't confused anymore. And then they realized how much they loved you. So yeah, three wants. I think you might have been waiting for this person. Here's the new beginning, manifesting the new beginning. So I think you'll be manifesting this new beginning together. Um, you know, stability, passion, truth, clarity, Love and emotions, it's all there. Manifesting this new beginning together. Taking positive movement forward here with the chariot. Uh, balanced energy, being very victorious. Just moving forward. It may move forward. All of a sudden, you may have been waiting quite a long time for this person. And now all of a sudden, it may move forward very quickly. Yeah, the tower. And I had said that. Uh, I was thinking the tower a few minutes ago when I said the sun hit them. And then they realized how much they love you. I think it hit them like a bolt of lightning, like a tower moment. Like they had this big awakening, tower moment, enlightenment. Like, oh my God, I really do love this person. I don't want to be away from them any longer. Because right in the middle of the spread is the four of swords. And then they realize how much they love you. And now, and they were keeping that from you too. Now that I see this um, high priestess with the king of cups, they were keeping from you how much they truly loved you also. And then they were like, well, I'm going to lose this person. They're going to walk away from me. So now I have to tell them how I truly feel. And that's the tower moment that they had. So, yeah, they were very imbalanced for a while here. But I feel like now they finally got their balance. And they feel now realize uh, their true feelings, what they want. Because now the Page of Cauldron is coming forward with a love offer, a message, love offer. After, you know, balancing themselves out, being hit with that tower moment, now moving forward very quickly, manifesting this new beginning, and you've waited for them for quite a while here with the um, three of wands. All right, Libra, Libra, Libra. Well, I'm glad this turned out in a more positive note. I was worried that this was, oh no, not going to be a good reading. But I didn't really have that vibe. Even when I first got those lost cards, I'm like, okay, this person isn't telling Libra how they truly feel. Um, so Libra thinks it's ending, it's over, this connection is lost. But now it's all uh, come out here, so that's good. And, you know, maybe you were thinking for a time, too, of walking away from this connection because maybe you were tired of waiting for this person. And now finally they come forward. All right, so what do we have for Libra? Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you care, receive without guilt or apology. So let yourself receive this person, even though you've been waiting for them for quite a while. You were apprehensive. Uh, you were worried. It was lost. You thought about walking away, but then they realized, oh, I'm going to lose this person. They're going to walk away. And now they're coming back. So let yourself receive this person. I think that's what you wanted. All right, so what else do we have for Libra? Worthiness. I know that you deserve to receive good in all ways, so you are worthy. You are worthy of yourself. You are worthy of them, this love, moving forward. 
All right. So if you felt unworthy because they weren't coming forward, you thought they were rejecting you. Um, just know that they did indeed truly love you, but they were just scared. They were scared, very scared. So now we have tranquility just went flying on the floor. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self-care. And I do feel like this is almost like the Four Swords energy, which is right in the middle of your spread. So again, you know, taking that time apart here and now coming back together and now feeling that tranquility between you because now you are back together. And I see a lot of pink here, which pink red also represents uh, love. Is there anything else for Libra? Divine magic. Wow. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Exactly. So if this hasn't happened yet, I do feel like divine, like I said, with that tower moment, where did we have that tower moment down here? Divine is going to strike them with this tower moment to scare them to say, hey, look, you know, get off your arse and uh, go to your person or you're going to lose them. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we have a new dawn. The worst is now behind you, and a positive new experiences are on the horizon. Exactly. Yep. Positive new experiences are on the horizon with this person. I do see them. If they have not come forward, they will. Um, you have two brand new beginnings here. Passion, excitement, creativity, and stability. And there is love because you have the Ten of Cups. I mean, the Seven of Cups is about confusion. It's still love and emotion. And the Eight of Cauldrons, the King of Cups on their side. So we have it all here. We have all the suits here. So there definitely is love and stability and compassion and passion, uh, truth and clarity. Oh, do we have swords here? You know what? We didn't have any swords come out. No, no swords. So... Huh. No swords. Wow. So, hmm. But it doesn't matter. You can still have truth and clarity with your person. Uh, just, you know, if that's been lacking, just make sure um, that you, you know, have open, open and honest communication with one another. Wow, I didn't realize we didn't have any swords here. Oh, yeah, we did right here, the four of swords in the middle. Okay, so yeah, so all the suits are here, so that's good. Okay, uh, Libra, if you did like this, you do did like my style, please, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. I just introduced two new readings to the, seri to the channel, two new series. One is for singles, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection will it be, what kind of person will they be. That sort of reading is kind of a fun reading. And I've also introduced another new one, uh, Messages from Your Spirit Guides, What Spirit Wants You to Know. So those are out for October. The October um, general readings are all out and also the Love Connection for October and I'm now starting November. So if you would like to see all those readings, then please do hit the bell and you'll be notified when I post all the new readings so you don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you so much. All right, Libra, good luck to you. I'm wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. As I always say, with my channels, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.